What up boys and welcome back to yet another gold farming video. So in this series I'm basically doing any dungeon or open world farm a hundred times and after I've done that a hundred times I make these videos where I show you guys the route that I'm taking, talk about the potential drops that you can get and at the end we look at how much gold I've made and then I obviously show you guys all the loot because as I'm doing these runs, I'm saving all the loot that I'm going to put up on the auction house or anything that's uh, like of interest, right? So before we dive along with today's video, which is the Iron Docks, I do want to mention and a big thank you to everyone that has picked up a copy of the Zero to 10 Million Gold Guide. The support lately has been absolutely insane. So thank you all so much for that. And uh, if you want to get better at gold making and you want to have like a steady amount of gold coming in, then make sure to check it out and use the discount code uh, Dragonflight and you'll get it for 50% off. Now, this is going to be linked down below in description and also pinned comments. And this includes all future updates. So it's not like you buy it now and then there's a new book for Dragonflight. I'm going to update the book for Dragonflight and all future expansions for free. So... Iron Docks. I'm going to do the route right now, even though it is uh, kind of straightforward. But it's very important that I mention that I'm not looting on this run. And there's a lot of confusions about that when I'm doing these videos, because people are like, yo, student, why aren't you looting? Is the loot just coming to your mail? And no, only boss loot uh, gets uh, sent to your mail. Like normally when I do these farms, I always uh, pick up the loot, but my bags are stacked. Right, like, look at my bags. There's zero empty slots. And I couldn't even fit all the items that I want to put on the auction house uh, in my bags. Like, I still have a guild bank with more items from Iron Docks. It, it's insane. Uh, so, the reason why I want to run Iron Docks is because the uh, there's a lot of mobs with loot table. And then you have dungeons like the Everbloom from WAD, which is an okay alternative, but it's just less mobs with an actual loot table so iron Ox is definitely in my opinion better than uh, any of the other wad dungeons now why would you care about wad dungeons well i made a lot of videos in the past about auction house parts and there is uh, modules and parts that can only drop inside of raids and dungeons but that requires you to have a uh, like the trading post level two in your garrison to collect those so that's like your steady goal and then people used to do wad dungeons for raw gold because the raw gold that you pick up and the vendor value of the items are uh, relatively okay. But that's not why I'm here. Like, I don't consider this to be good, steady uh, gold in terms of raw gold. I'm here because uh, the dungeon can drop epic items, the best epic items from wad, like the Blackrock Bulwark and Ashila's Belt. It has a nice amount of blue items, uh, weapons, and armor pieces that sells for quite a bit. And, like, wad green items are super, super underrated. Like, don't get me wrong. When you do 10 runs of Iron Docks and use something like Ludopracer, it's very common to end up with 500,000 gold of market value, which is obviously fake value. But if you can determine the, the fake value from the real value... Uh, you're still going to make a lot of gold. Because if you guys have paid attention to my mailbox cleanout videos uh, that I do, I'm selling a lot of wad transmog. Because there's very few people doing wad transmog compared to something like uh, the classic dungeons like Ulderman and RFD and Sulfarak and Salitas and all of that. So they are very underrated. Uh, but that's like the main reasons why you should do Iron Docks. And it's also super fast to run like a run of Iron Docks. It's a relatively short dungeon and now that it's also a mythic plus dungeon there's probably a lot of people tired of the dungeon though uh, but it is important to kill all of these mobs uh, out at the docks here as well because the runs are so fast you might as well i however cannot be ours to sit through the role play on the uh, the last boss right here so this is where i port out and uh reset the dungeon and then port back in again there's no point waiting for this in order to kill the uh, the last boss I'm pointless in my opinion, right? This is just how I'm running it. So porting out, clicking reset instance, and then when you dream walk it back out, you're going to be just outside the dungeon, so you're ready to run it again. And that's what I've done a hundred times. Now, it's good. It's very good. I got lucky. 
very lucky, right? This is the loot that I decided to keep, and this is not this is not like all of the loot. I, I might as well Hearthstone so I can show you guys. Uh, but the items that I have left in my guild bank right now from 100 Iron Dogs runs is just more green items. And I don't, like some of these items I, I will vendor because I only post three items maximum. So the Dagger Jaw Jerkin, for instance, has a good market value. It's a shit price on my realm. I'm still going to post it, but I have four in total. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to vendor one of those. And the same goes for a lot of these items. Uh, like, I'm only going to post three of them. You have, like, this gun right here. Look at the reach and sales average, 9.4k. It has a reach and market value of 45k. Uh, only 1.8k on my realm. That's lower than the regional sales. Like, this is obviously items like this. I'm posting it all day. And then you also have, like, a lot of these shields. Even though the reach and sales is fairly low, it's 12k on my realm. And it's not unrealistic to sell it for that price. And it just keeps on going like that with a lot of these... Uh, these transmog items from a wad, they were good. But they're uh, like, these are the green items. And then I have some more green items right here. There's no blues or epics that I'm aware of that's left in here. And then these bad boys, these are the complete modules that you get from having the trade post, right? So in order to create one of these, you need three different parts. You need the, uh, the auction memory socket, you need the auction connection, connecting valve, and then one more part that I don't have any more of. So three of those creates one of these. So uh, I managed to get six of these. Right now, on my realm, they're at 20k. The reach and sales average is like 18k, even though the market value is higher. So 20k for these. So I've made 120,000 gold just on these. That's 12,000 gold an hour just in the auction house modules and then you get like a couple thousand golden hours as well from uh, raw gold so you do make gold guaranteed these are relatively easy to sell now the reason why i made a lot of gold because if i use my macro my tsm macro which will give me um like the price on my realm right now which is in every single case uh lower than the market value i'm sitting at 2.9 million gold 300,000 gold an hour like more than 3 million gold because i have all of this as well uh, and that is because yes uh the auction's modules that's pretty average but i got the holy grail i got the black rock bulwark and right now it's 700,000 gold in my realm which is fairly low they're usually at a million when this dropped for me they were like right above a million and then some people have undercut it down to 700k. But this is a very good item. And uh, if you guys aren't aware, yes, there, there is a similar look dropping in Black Temple. But it has a completely different look. Different color. The, the texture is better than this one. Uh, better. Uh, this one is better than the Black Temple one. And it has a completely different item ID. So collectors need both. So they sell. I've sold a ton of them in the past. So I got that. That's like a million gold alone-ish. I got myself some epic um, epic shoulders. I did also get a Sheila belt. Now, this is needed to complete like a very popular set, Transmog set. Uh, I've sold these, uh, a lot of these in the past. Very good belt. Usually half a mil. Now it's 300k of my realm. Uh, those are the three epics that I got. Uh, then I got like necklace. Obviously, this is a fake value. Not even going to post it because it's a necklace. And then I got some blue items, uh, bracers. I got myself some uh, helmets. The treasure Hunter's bandana. I've sold that in the past. Like 100k of my realm. Reach in sales of 22k. And then you have some weapons. This one in particular is not that good. But this one right here. Different color on it. 75k of my realm. Some gloves for 90k. And then all of the green items. So yes. Iron Docks. Should you do it? most definitely is there a lot of fake value yes is it going to take a while to sell you damn right it will but is it a good farm absolutely i can definitely recommend people to run iron docks it's a great great solo farm to do and uh, that was pretty much it for today's video so thank you all so much for watching leave suggestions down below on what i should do 100 times next 
And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and you'll be notified whenever those videos goes live. So also a big thank you to everyone that has joined as a member on YouTube. The list is to my right right here. Really do appreciate it. See you guys back in at tomorrow's video. But until then, bye bye.